I'm doing something super fun and I'm going to be making a tie-dye t-shirt so lately this trend has just exploded all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube people are making sets, joggers, t-shirts, crewnecks, sweaters basically anything you can imagine and I have not made a tie-dye t-shirt in years and years probably since I was in grade school so I am super excited for this project and the tutorial that I used is actually from Rit Dye's YouTube channel and the dye that I'm using is from Rit Dye and it's a very very good tutorial so I will link it below for you guys and let's go ahead and get started. Okay so before we get started I wanted to go over all of the materials that you'll need for this project. So the first thing this is kind of an unnecessary one but I wanted to wear them just in case I get any stains on my hands or fingers so just a pair of disposable gloves and then you'll of course need some sort of dye. So this is from the brand Rit Dye. It's in the color charcoal gray because I'm doing a white t-shirt with gray tie-dye on it and this particular particular one is made for cotton wool nylon linen and silk and this is the liquid version it also comes in a powder version too and then you'll need a squeeze bottle so I kind of had to go on a little scavenger hunt for this because I could not find it in Walmart anywhere so you really want one that's easy to squeeze and also that has like this needle type nose on it with a cap so that when you shake it up it doesn't spill everywhere so you can also use an empty mustard or ketchup bottle as well and then you'll need a tablespoon measure for your dye and then two cups of hot water which i already poured into my squeeze bottle and then you'll need some plastic wrap so normally you would probably use like normal plastic wrap this is press and seal which i don't know how well is going to work for this project but i'm going to make do because i don't have any of the normal kinds and then you'll need a bunch of rubber bands and then also what comes in handy for this project is a cookie cooling rack like this and I also have down on my table a garbage bag just to collect any spills that go through. So the purpose of the cookie cooling rack is so that your shirt doesn't sit in a pool of color and get more saturated than you want it to or to collect spots on places that you don't want tie-dye. So this lifts it off of the flat surface and then also the spills can just drop through there. And the last thing you'll need is of course a t-shirt or crew neck sweater joggers whatever you want to use and this particular t-shirt is a comfort colors t-shirt I got it off of Amazon it was under ten dollars and in my opinion comfort colors are some of the best t-shirts on the market they're super comfortable they're durable they wash really well and they're very very soft so this is a unisex size medium normally I'm like a woman's extra small to small so I did want more of an oversized fit so I went with this one okay so the first step for this project is to pre-wash your t-shirt which I have already done and then what you're going to do is damp dampen it just a little bit so that the color can more easily saturate the fabric so I'm gonna run out do that real quick come back and then we'll go into the next step okay so now I'm back with my damp t-shirt and the key to this part is to make sure that your t-shirt or clothing item is not super saturated with water just slightly damp so that that color can really adhere to the fabric Okay, so I'm just gonna lay my t-shirt out. So for the scrunch technique, this is going to make it more of a random tie-dye versus a circular tie-dye. So you're gonna start just scrunching your fabric just like this until it's bundled up in kind of like a circle. Okay, next step, you're just gonna take some rubber bands and start bundling the fabric. So just like this. and keep repeating that until you're pretty happy with how it looks. Okay, once your fabric is bundled, you're gonna take your squeeze bottle and I already have my two cups of hot water in here. I'm just gonna open this up and put two tablespoons of my color in with the water and then just kind of slightly shake it up. Okay, 
Okay, for the next step, you're gonna start applying your color to your t-shirt, but make sure when you start putting the color on that you leave some white spots, and sometimes that can be hard because you want to make sure that every single spot is covered and saturated, but in order for it to be more of a tie-dye effect, you have to make sure to leave some white. So I'm gonna do one side first, and then I will flip it over and do the other side. So now all the dye is applied to my t-shirt. So now I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. I will come back and we'll move into the next steps. So now it's been 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is wrap up my t-shirt in plastic wrap and then I'm going to microwave it for two minutes. And the purpose of that is so that the dye can really saturate the fabric and really adhere to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up every single bit of this t-shirt in the plastic wrap. So I just took this out of the microwave and it's still pretty hot. It's actually kind of steaming. I don't know if that's coming up on camera or not, but the very last two steps is to remove the rubber bands, rinse it in cold water to get any of um, some dye that didn't get saturated in the fabric just to rinse that off. And then also to throw this into the washer, wash it with cold water and dry it, and then it's good to go. So after that's over, I will try it on and show you guys how it turned out. Okay guys, I'm back and I just took my t-shirt out of the dryer and I am so, so happy with how this turned out. So here is the final result. Here's my t-shirt. I absolutely love it. I was kind of scared at first to know what it would turn out like because when I rinsed it under the cold water, I saw some like yellowish type stains from the dye that were starting to peek through. But once I washed it, those came out and I do not see any trace of that whatsoever and thank you to Rit Dye for that tutorial that was an amazing tutorial it was very thorough and he explained everything really well and it also it's very simple which is super important and I will stand in front of the mirror here in a second and give you an idea of the fit of the t-shirts and then the overall effect of the tie-dye so I think this would be a really fun project to do with kids you could do it with your partner you could do it with friends or just make some really cute pieces for yourself but I will definitely be making more tie-dye pieces and Rit actually Actually has a tie-dye chart to give you an idea or not a tie-dye chart like a color chart to give you an idea of what things to mix together to make certain colors I'll put that up on the screen right now just to give you an idea so I'm gonna follow that I really want to do like a light peach and white t-shirt or maybe I'll do like a sweater I don't know there's like so many different things you could do I'm really excited to try it out but thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also if you haven't already please subscribe I make new videos every single week twice a week on Wednesdays and Fridays on any topic ranging from fashion to beauty to lifestyle and I would love for you to join the family so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you Friday bye